welcome to today's construction class. For today's class, we'll be looking into the construction of an hypocycloid. Yeah, an hypocycloid for uh, 75 mm diameter rolling circles. And its base diameter is what? It's 225 mm. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is produce a thin horizontal line in this manner, as you can see on the screen. All right. After doing that, I'm going to pick any point on my paper as my point what? As my point O, which is this. Then after doing that, I'm going to pick the radius of what? Of 112.5. 112.5. All right. So with that, I what? I produce yeah, a semicircle like this on the paper as it is. Okay. So after drawing that, what is the next procedure? What is the next procedure? So I am going to ensure I extend this area down here very well, right? So the very next procedure is to pick my compass and measure radius. Okay, I'm going to measure radius 37.5, all right? So since it is an hypocycloid, then it is going to go rolling inside, inside this bigger diameter. All right, so with radius 37.5 from this very area here, just look. I'm going to what, strike an arc in this manner, all right, with the same radius as 37.5 from that center where the arc strikes the horizontal line. I'm going to what? I'm going to produce this circle right here. Okay, so having gotten that, I'm going to what? Produce a perpendicular on this circle, first of all. Okay, so producing the perpendicular in this manner. The next procedure is to, is to divide that smaller circle into what into 12 equal halves. Okay, so after dividing the circle into 12 equal halves, the next thing is to what is to do the numbering. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, then 0 over what over 12. All right, so after doing that, the next procedure is this. I'm going to pick one of the divisor of the circle, all right? One of its divisor, divisor. Then from mark zero, I'm going to step it off 12 times on this uh, bigger diameter. One, two, three, four. Okay, mark 11 and mark 12. Okay, so having done that, I'm going to do the numbering. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and what and twelve. So from each of those mark, I'm going to draw a line to my point O, which is the right, the center of this uh diameter of that bigger circle. So I'm going to drag a line down there, okay, in this manner. Okay, so having done that, which is on the screen over there, what is the next procedure? The next procedure is pick your compass, place it on point O, yeah, for the center for the bigger circle. All right, so then extend it down to, let's start from uh, mark six at the bottom right here, okay? Yeah, mark six from this area to mark six right here. All right, so I what? I draw. Okay, then I'm going to extend it towards mark five. So five and seven are on the same plane. So it's going to what? Draw. All right. Then mark four. Four and eight are on the same plane. All right. So that is it. All right. So the next mark is mark three. Three and nine are on the same plane, as you can see. That is it. Next mark is mark two. Two and ten are on the same plane. All right. So the next mark is mark one. One and eleven are on the what? They are on the same plane. All right. So I what? I draw. So don't forget, this is not cycloid or superior cycloid or inferior cycloid. So we need to get the midpoint, our point where we are going to produce uh, the smaller circles from. So extend your compass to the center of this circle right here, and what? Produce another arc. Produce another arc. So I'm going to make that a little bit thick so as to distinguish it uh, from the rest okay so after doing that the next procedure is pick your compass and pick the radius of the small circle all right picking the radius of the smaller circle i'm going to come to mark one here 
Mark 1, the center right here. Placing my compass on Mark 1, I'm going to go to produce my circle in this manner. So wherever it touches the arc of Mark 1, that's it. That is right here. I'm going to work asteric. Okay, just like the same principle we apply on cycloid and the likes. So on Mark 2, using that same radius at the center right here, I'm going to what produce yeah the circle for point two. So wherever it touches for mark two, which is here, right here. Okay, so for mark three, placing it at the center of mark three right here, I'm going to what draw. Okay. After drawing, it touches my mark theory here, right here, for the what line of mark theory here. So mark four with the same radius coming to the center of mark four right here, then producing it mark four. This is where it touches forward for mark four right here. For mark five, this center of mark five right here, all right. The circle for mark five now. Okay, so this way it touches with mark five. It touches mark five right here. Okay, so mark six. This on mark six. So automatically that is going to be what the highest point or the what the apex, and that is it. That is it, right here. Okay, so mark seven now. On mark seven, and it is going to be what going downward, right here. So mark seven, this is it, right here, All right. Mark eight. For mark eight, this is it right here okay for mark nine mark nine this is it right here all right so on mark 10 on mark 10 this is it right here all right on mark 11 on mark 11 this is it right here then on mark 12, on mark 12, this is it right here. Okay, so I have what I have the traces. So the very next is what pick up my uh French curve or flexible curve and draw out the what draw out uh the curve. All right, so that is the hypocycloid curve. That is the hypocycloid curve. Kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.